Okay, so problem solving. So meron tayo ditong pro forma. Gagawa muna tayo ng cost of goods manufactured. Syempre, meron tayong heading. We have the GL company. The statement of cost of goods manufactured for the year ended December 31, 2020. Sa so, nagsimula, raw materials beginning. So, raw materials beginning. Ang amount ng raw materials beginning ay raw materials January 1. 200,000. Sunod ay total cost of RM purchases. Total cost of RM purchases meaning yung cost of purchase ng raw materials plus freight in pertaining sa purchases ng raw materials less the purchase discounts and purchase returns and purchase allowance. Kaya total cost. So, ito ang given lang naman dito ay purchases. So, Raw material purchases at what amount? Three million. Total raw materials available for use is three point two million. Less the raw materials end, which is Raw materials and I. Um, ito, raw materials December 31, 280,000 pesos. Raw materials use is 2.92 million pesos. Okay, next. Tapos na tayo sa raw materials use. <coughs> Next ay direct labor. Direct labor, ang amount ng direct labor natin ay 950,000. Sunod ay manufacturing, overhead, or other term niya ay factory overhead. And ang factory overhead is, um, Ito yung mga manufacturing cost na hindi direct labor at hindi raw materials use. So, madaming manufacturing overhead dito. Una, itong indirect labor. Indirect labor, superintendents, light, heat and power, rent and repair, ay factory overhead. So, itemize natin siya. Indirect labor, we have 250,000. Acronym IL. We have the superintendents. na 210 <clears throat> light heat and power 320 rent factory building 120 next i Repairs machinery at what amount? 50. Okay, tapos na tayo mag-consider ng mga given dito. Dito naman tayo sa kabila. Ayan. Titingnan natin dito yung mga manufacturing overhead. Factory supplies use, ito ay manufacturing overhead din. That is 110,000. Ano pa? Cost of goods manufactured. DC, 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 AEA. Ito. Depreciation machinery. Depreciation machinery. Kasi production related or manufacturing related yung machinery. 60,000 pesos. Meron pa ba? Wala ng factory overhead or manufacturing overhead. Therefore, total manufacturing overhead natin would be um, 1.12 million pesos. Okay, anong sunod? We have, nandito na tayo sa part na to, manufacturing overhead. Ito na. Ito na yung ginagawa natin ngayon. Sunod natin, total manufacturing cost. Total manufacturing cost would be 
pro materials use plus direct labor plus factory overhead equals 4.99 million. Okay. Ito pa itapos. <clears throat> Work in process or goods in process beginning. The goods in process beginning is 240,000 pesos. Then, we have, so dito na lang muna sa kabila. Then, ito would be, dito natin nalagay yung kasunod. Total goods in process. Okay. Ito na yun. Dito tayo sa total goods in process. That would be 5.23 million less the work in process end or the goods in process end goods in process ang ginamit natin dito the goods in process end is goods in process December 31 170 cost of goods sold manufactured so na reach na natin yung bottom line ng cost of goods manufactured that is 5.06 million. So, tapos na tayong gumawa ng statement of cost of goods manufactured, which is ang amount ay, kalagay natin dito, cost of goods manufactured equals 5.060 million. Tignan natin hanggang cost of sales, we have lagyan natin yung cost of goods sold. Okay, ang statement of cost of goods manufactured would be hit ito hanggang dito lang ha sa cost of goods manufactured. Cost of sales, we have the cost of goods manufactured at 5.60 million. Then we have the finished goods beginning. The finished goods beginning is uh finished goods beginning, finished goods January 1. 360,000 pesos. Okay, the total goods available for sale is 5,400,000. 420,000. Ah, million, sorry. Million. Less the finished goods end. The finished goods end, finished goods December 31 is 300,000. Therefore, Cost of goods sold is 5,120,000 pesos. Okay, tapos na tayong gumawa ng cost of goods manufactured na compute na rin ng cost of sales. Meaning, pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa mismong requirement, income statement using the cost of sales method. Okay, so gagawa na tayo ngayon ng income statement using the functional presentation. And ito usually yung format Kapag functional presentation, ang pag-present natin ng income statement. And ito yung magiging guide natin sa paggawa ng income statement using functional presentation. So, mauuna si net sales. Okay, tabi muna natin to Net sales. Net sales na ang line item. So, we have here the sales na 7.5 million. And meron tayo ditong sales returns and allowances na 50,000 pesos. So therefore, the net sales is 7.45 million. Paano nakuha yon? 7.5 million na sales less the 50,000 sales returns and allowances. So, yung net sales, that would be our note Number one, ano naman ang significance ng note? So, note number one, meaning ipapakita natin dito yung breakdown ng net sales. So, later na lang yun. Next is cost of good sold. So, yung cost of sales natin is na-compute natin kanina in advance. So, we have ito, 5,120,000. So, the net, the cost of sales is 5,120,000. So, 
So that would be our note number 2. Papakita natin yung breakdown sa note number 2, yung cost of sales. Okay. Next difference is the gross profit. The gross profit is 7.45 minus 5 million 120 equals 2.33 million. Next, sa template natin or sa format natin, ang gross profit ay sinundan ng other income. And pagkatapos ng other income, investment income naman. Okay. Ang other income, ito naman yung mga income ni entity other than sales and other than investment income. So, residual definition or sorry, residual yung other income na line item. So, pag hindi siya net sales, Pag hindi siya investment income, siya ay other income. So, alin dito yung mga other income? Hanapin natin. Other income. Okay. Other income. Uh, other income. So, wala dito sa part na to. Other income. Ito. Interest income. That is presented sa income statement as other income, 10,000. So, 10 plus, baka may other income pa dito. Ito, gain on sale on equipment. So, yung mga gain on sale on PPE, nilalagay siya sa other income. Plus 100. Ano pa ang other income dito? Ito, gain from expropriation of asset. So, yung mga gains, normally, siya sa ay nilalagay sa other income ng income statement, 100. Total other income ay 210,000 pesos. So, that would be our note number 3. Dahil papakita natin yung breakdown ng other income. Sunod sa ating format ay investment income. So, wala namang investment income na given dito sa problem. So, we can skip na yung investment income. Sunod na yung expenses. Okay. Expenses, distribution, followed by admin, followed by other, expense and finance cost. Okay. Expenses na tayo. Expenses. Ayan. Una ay distri distribution cost. So, paano nakuha ang distribution cost? Titingnan lang natin dito yung total ng lahat ng distribution cost. Uh, sa ba mga distribution cost dito? Ito, sales salaries, 400,000. Ano pang distribution cost dito? Advertising, 160. Ito pa. Depreciation, store equipment, 70,000. Ano pa? Ang distribution cost. Delivery expense. Na, 200,000. Okay, wala nang distribution cost. So, na-consider na lahat ng distribution cost. Okay. 400 plus 160 plus 70 plus 200 equals 830,000. So, since na may breakdown yung ating distribution cost, that would be our note number 4. Papakita natin yung breakdown ng distribution cost sa note number 4. Next is administrative expense. Okay, administrative expense naman tayo. We have office salaries na 150. Depreciation office equipment, 40,000. Accounting and legal fees, 150. And office expense, 250. So, wala nang administrative expense. 
150 plus 400 plus 40 plus 150 plus 250 590,000. That would be our note number 5. Next, other expense. So, ang other expense natin, other expense natin dito ay isa lang. Earthquake loss, 300,000 pesos. That would be our note number 6. Papakita natin yung breakdown ng other expense. Next, finance cost. So, finance cost, Wala namang given na interest expense dito, so walang finance cost. Therefore, total expense is 830 plus 590 plus 300 equals uh, 5, 830 plus 590 plus 300 equals 1.720 um, million. Okay. So, ito. Balik tayo sa gross profit and other income. So, lalagyan na palagyan ng portion dito ng total income. Okay. Yan. Total income. So, ulit. Net sales. So, di natin siya nailagay kanina. So, net sales, cost of sales, gross profit, other income, sunod investment income, sunod total income. So, pag a lang natin itong dalawang ito. Total income would be 2.33 plus 210 equals 2.54 million. Then, followed by expenses. So, total income less total expense, that would be our net income before tax. 2.54 minus 1.720 equals 820,000 pesos. Less the income tax expense of 220,000 320,000 therefore net income I 500,000 pesos. Okay, nagawa na natin yung income statement where in net income is 500,000 using functional presentation. Then, ang susunod natin gagawin is yung notes to financial statements. Papakita natin yung breakdown ng note 1 which is net sales, note 2 which is cost of sales, note 3, other income, and so on. Okay, so ito na yung notes to financial statements natin for the income statement. So we have here the note 1, net sales. So we have note 2 for the cost of sales, note 3 for other income and so on. So yung notes to financial statements natin for the income statement is pinapakita lang natin kung ano yung naging breakdown or kung ano yung composition ng line item ng nakalagay sa income statement. So for example, net sales 7.45 million. If gusto ng users na makita yung breakdown ng 7.45 million, titingnan nila ngayon yung net sales na notes to financial statements which is composed only ng gross sales and sales returns in allowances. So for the, kung gusto naman nilang silipin yung breakdown ng distribution cost which is pinakamalaking expense among the three, 830,000. So, ano yung composition ng distribution cost? Titingnan nila sa note 4. So, ang composition niya ay salaries expense, ah, sorry, sales salaries, advertising, depreciation, delivery, and the total distribution cost, 830,000 pesos. So, nagawa na natin yung notes to financial statements para sa income statement.